My wife recently sent me a press release about a study suggesting that magic or hallucinogenic mushrooms, the active compound psilocin, was associated with increased longevity. So I looked at the paper, and it turns out that yes, if you're a cell in a petri dish or a female mouse, that perhaps psilocin does increase your longevity. The press release went on to suggest that, well, you know, Americans have kind of a lower lifespan or life expectancy than some other countries in the world, so maybe we should take this and apply it to humans. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. There are human studies looking at a whole bunch of different things that either decrease our mortality or increase our longevity. Things like this paper, 366,000 human beings over a course of nine years were evaluated, and it was found that those that consumed the highest fiber intake had 22% decreased mortality over those that had the lowest fiber, lowest fiber intake. Now, I know that fiber is not nearly as exciting to some people as magic mushrooms, but if what we're after is longevity, shouldn't we look at things that have human studies? Things like aerobic exercise, anaerobic exercise, calorie restriction, maybe fish oil, perhaps coffee drinking, eating nuts and seeds. There's a whole bunch of things that have been studied on humans to show either a decrease in mortality or an increase in longevity or both. And we don't need to justify getting stoned in order to try to potentially live longer.